Alan Coleman, interim head coach. Thanks ever so much for joining us here at Lords today. We're in the indoor school. Um, three weeks ago, you were announced as interim head coach following Stuart's departure, which was, of course, a difficult decision for the club to make. Um, first day back in with the squad today at fitness testing. How are things? Yeah, things are good. Um, the boys are excited and enthused to be back here, and it's clear to see. Um, it's a bit like the first day back at school, really, where you know everyone's pleased to see each other again. Um, so, yeah, it, it looks like it's a, a hard work day for the lads downstairs, but, but a good one to, to kick it off. Absolutely. You mentioned, obviously, things seem upbeat. Everyone's pleased to be back. Morale in the camp looks to be really strong at the moment. You've got a tightly knit group of players here who've played together for a number of years together. Um, you must be looking forward to building on that togetherness. I think so, yeah. I think it's a group that do know each other well. They have been together a long time. Um, we've obviously got a few of the younger guys um, who, who are just signed rookie contracts joining us as well. And they're really, they've really they been accepted into the group really well. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that one of our key strengths as a side has got to be our togetherness and, and our morale. We've had some tricky times over the last few years. We know that. Um, we've had times where things haven't gone our way. Um, but we hope that we can build on that camaraderie that the lads have and create a, a group that's going to improve the, the standard of cricket at the club and, and take us on to win some competitions in the future. Obviously yourself, Alan, you've been around at the club for many years. You were former uh, academy head. Um, so you've kind of presided over the growth and development of many of these youngsters we're now seeing in the first 11. That's got to be something you're personally proud of and, and the club should be extremely proud of, that talent pathway that's coming through. Yeah, and I mean, and has been continued by the work that Rory Coots and Mark Lane are doing at the moment. Yeah, it's... Um, it's incredibly, I'm incredibly proud to, to watch the boys pull on the sea axes and, and walk out of Lords and, and do their thing, having known many of them from uh, for a long time throughout their youth careers. It's been, and, and our journeys have, between myself and some of the players, have actually matched each other all the way through, as Robbie White and I were discussing the other day. So um, it is, and, and I think it's an exciting group of young players. I, I do believe that there's a lot of talent in the room. Um, I, I remember speaking to you at the end of season dinner about a word of consistency, and, and I think that's what we now need from our younger players. They've all shown that they can step up and compete at first team level and succeed at first team level. And I think now we need to see that consistency from to, to take us from being where we are as a side to being where we could be. And Alan, as for yourself personally, obviously I mentioned you've been at the club a number of years. Uh, you're in the role as interim head coach now. Presumably you have aspirations yourself to make that a full-time role. Um, yeah, it would be lovely. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um, this is the club I've grown up watching, supporting, been a member of, have played for, and, and now I'm lucky enough to, to, to be coaching for. So... Um, if I'm honest, though, I have no idea where, where this is going to go from the club's perspective, what structure they want to put in place, people that the club want to bring in. So um, all I know is I'll, I'll give it my all while I've got the opportunity. Um, how long that opportunity will last, I, I don't know. Um, but I can assure everyone that there won't be a, many stones that are left unturned in this period, um, especially across the winter. Um, and we're very much approaching this as our sort of first day, really. First day of a new start. Um, and hopefully we can build some momentum through the winter with some hard work that will uh, leave us in stand us in good stead for April and walking out of Lords for the first time. And one last word on that winter training program. Uh, obviously, first day back today, fitness testing. Where does that lead from here? When do you start hitting balls again? Is that something you'll defer until January? Work on fitness over the next few weeks? Can you explain what process we'll go through? Yeah, so um, obviously the, the fitness element um, does take a bit of a leading role and the cricket builds up alongside that. Um, very lucky to have Mark Ramprakash coming in to join us three days a week from Monday, which is when he'll get his hands dirty with our batters. Um, Ramps is going to bring us a, a load of experience and expertise, uh, a fantastic coach, a fantastic man to have around. And there's not many in, in the game that know about batting out there as much as he, uh, who know as much as he, he does about batting out there. So really excited to have Ramps joining us for, for a period of at least up until Christmas. Um, and the boys are, are very enthused by, by working with him. And that cricket programme will just increase as we get towards March and the market at Merchant Taylors. It all sounds exciting. Fantastic appointment with Rams. Look forward to catching up with him next week. Thanks for your time, Alan. All the very best of luck. Thanks. Cheers, Vincent.